Let me tell y'all how I found out that she was a weird ass bitch. Oh, if I'm friends with you and you introduce me to your friend, I'm not gonna go buddy buddy with your friend. God, Kayla was talking ish about ish ish. ish. <laughs> Kayla, cause it's getting heated. Cause I was really mad. Cause push come to shove, somebody she was talking ish to about somebody else came back and told the person she was talking ish about. So I guess they all made a group chat. But they all starting to plot on her, talking about they gonna beat her up. YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Shamia. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you like, comment, and keep coming back for more because it's me. You feel me? Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna tell you guys about the time I had a weird ass friend. Like, Shorty Girl, she was just all over the place. Like, personality, looks, just everything was just all over the place. And the reason why I'm telling the story time is because one, it kept popping up in my stories, like my memories from Snap, like of us, like our trips and whatever, I'm gonna tell you guys. Yeah, and it's just been on a list of things that I wanted to cover on like story times and stuff. So why not get it out the way? Let's get started. I'm gonna give you guys a little um, rundown of like how we met and why we became so close. So it was, it was one of my birthdays and I was just stuck in a crib. I... None of my outfits came, my hair wasn't done, nothing got done. So I was just depressed in the house, crying, bowling my 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 eyes my ears, bowling my eyes out. And yeah, I was just going through it. And she hit me up and she was like, hey girl, like what's up? You can't be in your crib in the crib on your birthday. You can't, you feel me? You can't, you can't do that. Like we gotta go outside. You gotta live your birthday up and we're gonna have fun tonight. So I said, I bet. So I got ready, we went out, we chilled with a few few of my friends and yeah, that was that. We kept linking up after that, and we kept like linking up, chilling in the neighborhood. We, we just became very close. I guess we were both on some like we know we look good, we know we that bitch, and you know I me. Mean? And we was both always with the shits, always up and ready to do things. Like always, she was just that friend for me. Like, yo, we out to the pool, yo, we out here, yo, we out there. We was always just with it. So we became close after like. After like a few encounters with her, we like slowly drifted apart. Nothing happened between us. It's just I don't know. I think I was still in school and she was still she was just doing her own thing. She, she was a year older than me. And yeah, she was just doing her own thing and I kinda peeped that. So I was just like, alright, cool. If you're doing you, I'ma do me. I ain't begging to be nobody friend. Like that's not my body, that's that's not me. That's sorry. Let me get down to nitty gritty. So let me let me tell y'all how I found out that she was a weird ass bitch or what she was just showing me all these red red flags of her being a weird ass bitch and I didn't take none of the signs I just I took it and ran with it I took it and ran with it because I was like you know what I really believe in this girl I really feel me bypass all the nonsense like her reality I was just like you know what I fuck with her as a person at the end of the day not for what she's giving out to the public but for who she is for who i know so anyways um yeah we we rekindled again after i would say a year it was the same vibes it was the same it was the same energy between us and we kept vibing off that off of that like every day we would have some a function to go to we she even introduced me to some of her friends now this is a major part because if I'm friends with you and you introduce me to your friend, I'm not going to go buddy-buddy with your friend. Like, I'm going to fill them out for myself and see, okay, I could I could be cordial with you. I could be buddy-buddy with you. We could be cool. But I'm not the type to just be like, oh, you heard from you, Kayla, friend? I bet. You my bestie, too. No, we not doing that. And we both knew the vibes. Like, we both knew that. And we all start going out. We all start, like, celebrating each other's birthdays going to parties together going to functions together and it was a vibe it was a vibe for the summer it was like you know you want that click of girls we had that click well at least we had the image of the click because it was never really a click because Kayla on the other hand like when I first met her friends not to say I don't hang out with I don't 
know how not to sound like ass. I hang out with people that can carry their own. You feel me? Like, you know we're going out. You're going to put on your best fit and I'm going to put on my best fit. You're not about to come behind me looking. You're not, no, we're not parting like that. It's not, no. And her friends just wasn't it. So once I realized, like, some of her friends wasn't it, I kind of, um, stepped to the side and I just kept to myself and just told her how I felt. Like, hey, check your friends. Hey, do this, do that. Like, I'm not going to address your friends. For me, it's your friends. It's your company. So... Whatever the case may be, we start hanging out every day. It was mainly just me and her. Like, I was her main friend. So she would come to me, Caleb would come to me with um, all of her drama and all her boyfriend business. And for me, whatever she was doing, she would we would confide in each other and we would just put each other on, like gossip, like girls do. She would tell me, yo, and this is another thing. I saw myself, like, when I look back at it, I kind of regret being friends with her to the extent that I was friends with her because she was just all bad news like she would try to teach me how to um, swindle niggas and that's like that's not my body at all like I'm not about to play no mind games with nobody to do nothing for me like I got my own I was working at the time and yeah she would have multiple guys and uh, I could say I was looking up to her at the time, like, oh, I want to be like you. I want to have nigga number one, nigga number two, nigga number three, and nigga number four. Because feel me, <clears throat> it was it was exciting. Like, and at the time, I had a boyfriend, y'all. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. So she was introducing me to her friends. Um, we became cordial, whatever the case may be, and we all started going out. Friends introduced her to my boyfriend. Um, she introduced me to her niggas. We going on little double dates and stuff. We just doing best friendship. And I really, I love the relationship that it was. Like, we could link up every day. We could chill. We could vibe. It was just, she was just my person. You know when you want that friend to just, hey, what's up? And you know that, you know? You know, yeah, yeah, I have that bond like nobody else. And I found that within her because when I, we were hanging out together and we were, weren't with her friends, she would talk shit about her friends to me. So I would hold it down. Like, they not my homegirls. Cool, talk your shit. I don't like them either, so I'm going to talk my shit too. So she was talking, she would talk shit about where people live, what they got going on in their household, what they don't got versus what they do got. Just bashing her friends bad and i would just hold her like and you know in the moment it wasn't it wasn't really hitting me that hey this girl could talk shit about her friends use her people use people do all sorts of things it wasn't hitting me that she could turn around and do it to me too but now i know better like that was young me that was old me now i've grown i've learned from that so it was her little brother's birthday that was coming up she said that she can invite one friend and she came and she chose me mind you she had a best friend already she had um all sorts of friends she had like she has mad friends shorty has mad friends like i'm the only one that was in my little bubble i was in my bubble and i was just tagging along it was like a family trip her brother her mom her grandmother her cousin her cousins her her little cousins was there too like baby cousins they all tag along and i was like the only non-family member so this is when i started finding out that she was really a widow so we go on the trip and She's like kind of keeping her distance from me like throughout the trip the trip and I'm not thinking nothing of it Like we was hanging out first day cool. We was going it was Kalahari. We went to Kalahari together and Yeah, she started Well, her mom started moving weird to me. Let's talk about her moms first her moms Not even talk about nobody moms, but you was moving weird to me. So we arrived to Kalahari, right? and why we get out the while we getting out the car and it's dumb cold or it's about to rain or something like that and at first i was sitting in the back seat and everybody's coming out the car to unpack the car to let me put the things into the hotel to get situated or even just to get the things out of the car to find parking that's what we were trying to do we were trying to get the things out of the car to find parking but someone needed to check in first so why I go inside, I use the bathroom, I come back, and the front seat is open. Mind you, her grandmother was sitting in the front, but her grandmother got up, and I don't know what she did. But 
Now her mom sees me sitting in the front and she's like, Little girl, we need to get up and my mother said. I just looked at her. I just looked at her like, Who you calling a little girl? Like, yeah, I'm a little girl, but you not my mother. Who the, who are you to be talking to me like that? Like, you feel me? Like, I'm not, I don't care how old you are. I don't care. Respect is respect. You won't respect me one way or another. So whatever, I got up, I said, cool. She was sitting in the front first. I got my, I got up my enough self. I got up and I went in the front. I ain't had to. So I got up. So anyways, we get up into the room now. And I'm, I said, like, I turned to the, um, who was it? I, I think it was a maid or something. Like, she was cleaning. She was finishing up. So, um, I was like, hey, can you, like, turn off the AC? Can you just, you know, get the room at room temperature? Like, it's freezing and it was just raining and I'm barely wearing any clothes. Like, can you, like, I'm wearing a, a little ass dress, like a blue dress. I'm wearing a little blue, um, skin tight dress and I'm freezing. Like, my little old self, I was freezing. It was AC on. No. As she was turning off the AC, her mother was looking at me. Like, who told her that she could turn off the AC? And I'm just like, I'm cold. I asked someone if they had a sweater, if they had something for me to wear, and no one responded. So I'm turning off the AC. Like, we're all, I paid my money to be here. That's first foremost. I paid my money to be here. You're not going to tell me that I cannot turn off the AC. You're going to, if I get sick, are you taking me to the hospital? Are you taking care of me? No. So I'm turning off the AC. Like, let me just fast forward this trip. Like, her mother was just getting me tight. Like, she, like, if you bring somebody's child on a trip, bro. You're supposed to make sure they're fed. Like, they're under your responsibility. You're supposed to make sure they're fed. Like, I had my money in my pocket, but not one time the next day did she ask me, hey, are you okay? Hey, do you need anything? I got you, you know? Like, I still had mine, but I still felt the type of way because you're supposed to be someone's mother, taking someone's child out, and, like, you just all around sloppy. But anyways, um, fast forward, we get back and i go home i think i just i just was over her mom i was over everybody and i just literally said bye thank you so much i appreciated it have a blessed day and i walked off i went home like i didn't even further more no i didn't further no conversation with nobody i didn't no prolong nothing like have a great trip had a great trip thank you so much great peace weeks go by and i was in florida and i came back i think i was stayed like a week and as soon as I came back, we linked up. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not spilling her business. I'm just telling y'all what it is. She told, she texted me. She was like, hey, like, can you, can you link me right now? Can you feel me? Just, I need you. So I was like, I bet I'm your friend. Even though I just came off a long flight or a late flight, I'm going to still pop out. Like, even though my mother is on my butt right now about going out so much, I'm going to still pop out. So I still came and... She was crying. She just looked like she was going through it. And we we called up some friends and we just hung out for the rest of the night. During the week, she said how she got kicked out, da da da, how her parents trying to do this, how her parents trying to do that to her. So I'm like, all right, I got you. I'm gonna pop out and make sure you good. If you need anything, let me know. Like, I got you. So I pop out. We all chill, smoke hookah, we all vibing. And I don't know. I don't know how it came about but the following day there was a group chat that was made and or the following week or so a group chat was made and they included me in it and they was like how they heard Kayla was talking this that and the third about them and I was just like how y'all found out like it wasn't me it wasn't me, it wasn't me. I even had her in the shower it wasn't me. She even told me. Yeah, it wasn't me I didn't I didn't, I didn't spill the beans. I didn't tell him what you said. Like, that has nothing to do with me. If you want to, if I want to talk my ish, I'm going to say it right to their face too because I owe them no loyalty. And they're not, they're not my mans. And that's point blank, period. Like, that's it, that's all. So, um, yeah, a group chat was made. They was like how sh they heard Kayla said this and the third about them. And I was just like, I have no idea. Like, I'm not about to spill the tea on her. Like, I have no idea what's going on, how this came about don't include me so then they they came to say how she started talking about me and i'm just like what she said about me she was like how she was just talking ish. she was like she basically spreading my business like something that me and her only knew and she told the whole group of friends that she knew i wasn't fucking with 
Like, she knew I wasn't cool with them, and she still went ahead and told my business. Like, yeah, they probably had an idea of what was going on, but they didn't know. And, yeah, whatever the case may be, she told them my business, and I was just like, it's a wrap for her. Like, what type of friend are you? Like, you, you claim to be mad close to me. You claim to feel me, but at the end of the day, you're really a liar, manipulator, user. And the whole red flag list, like... She's out of here. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Boo. Like, what type of friend are you? Like, she put on such a facade for people. Like, you was not like, you was not like that girl. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, they start to tell me how she was talking about me, da, 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 And I was like, you know what? Cool. She said what she said. Y'all yeah, know, like, I'm not about to go fight the girl. Like, in the back of my head, I still had... I still knew what she was going through as a person. Like, fuck what you said in the past. I knew what, sh what you're going through as a person. Like, you just got kicked out. You're going through your nigga drama. You're going through this. You're going through that. So, I'm not about to be the extra friend or that extra person. Because I'm not your friend no more. I'm not about to be that extra person to run you down and beat you up. Like, I'm not about to jump you. Like, I'm not about to. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Like, you said what you said. I just don't have to associate myself with you no more. At the time, I was braiding hair for this girl. So, oh, and I was a good-ass friend to this girl, too. I used to do her hair. I used to fix her up nice. Like, you remember when I said I don't like nobody coming behind me looking no type of way? She was a female that I could actually... Not saying I'm going to fix up every female that I encounter and try to be friends with, but if it's something that I know that I'm skilled at and I can help you with and that can make both of us look better, I'm going to do it. Like, I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to do none of that. Anyways, that's besides the story. Um, yeah, so they ended up making a group chat involving me. And I'm at work one day. I'm braiding somebody here in the middle of braiding somebody here. And I get a text message talking about, we going to um, Kayla Kirk right now. We going to Kayla Kirk right now. So you better have your friend back. Or you feel me? You better be there for your friend. I, I, and I'm just like okay like they like no no no. they was asking for the addy or something they was asking for something and i was not giving up like i'm still i'm not that type of person like we not cool but i'm not about to throw dirt on your name and i'm not about to i'm gonna tell her what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say what it is and i'm gonna tell her what it is but i'm not about to throw you under the bus for nobody like i'm sorry i'm not that type of person and if somebody and I, I expect the same vice versa like if i'm friends with somebody i expect them to do the same exact thing for me like loyalty is loyalty Anyways, um, yeah, they text my phone, they like, oh, shorty, we about to go beat shorty up, da, da, da. I'm like, chill, like, did it have to escalate to this? Like, did it really? So I started texting my phone, I'm like, oh, where you at? They said they on their way. Like, I'm still trying to be, you know, like, fuck what you said. Forget what you said. Like, cool, you said what you said, cool. But I'm texting her, I'm just like, they're on their way, they probably outside right now. So I finish up braiding next shorty here, I'm braiding, 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 as fast as I could. It was probably a good... 30 minute walk and I think probably 15 minutes by train and I made that 30 minute walk 15 minutes like I literally rushed to her crib to have her back like it was probably four big ass bitches and I'm five two and she's five feet or five one of the case maybe I'm not for that jumping shit like I got jumped before and it's not a nice feeling it's not a nice look so i'm not about to get make you get jumped like if anything you get a one-on-one -on -one, you could find somebody as big as you you could find a cousin or something but you're not about to beat on this tiny ass girl like you're not about to do that so whatever i pop into her crib i get upstairs i knock on her door and her mom opens the door they let me in and i tell her how i just seen thing one and thing two downstairs let's call them thing one and thing two so I see thing one and thing two, and I'm sitting in the living room, and I'm I'm chopping up with her, and I'm not cool with her. Like, I'm not smiling about her face. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not. Like, they came here to beat your ass, I'm only here because I feel bad for you. Feel me? I feel bad for you, and I'm going to be here for you for the time being. Like, after this, is over. So, her mother, she calls, I don't know if it's her uncle, her neighbor, her grandfather, I don't know who that man is, her brother. She calls somebody, and... He goes down, he's downstairs now, and all I hear is just yelling, like, you're not gonna touch her, you're not gonna, yeah, get the out of here, you're not about it. Just going off. So, before I came upstairs, 
I passed through the two females, thing one and thing two. I passed through them. I'm cordial with them. I got no bad blood between them. We cool. We not cool, but we cool. Like, feel me? I got no beef with y'all. Feel me? I'm, I don't even like shorty upstairs. I'm just, I'm here for her. Y'all not about to touch. Like, I even said to them, like, Yeah, y'all doing too much. Like, why y'all here? Why y'all doing all this? Like, I, I even, I said something. You feel me? But I guess interacting with them and, you know, it painted a bad picture on me. So anyways, um, I get downstairs now. And I think I was on the phone with somebody. I don't know who I was on the phone with. And one of the thing one or thing one asked for the phone. Because I was actually cooler with thing one than thing two. Like thing two was her best friend that was trying to try to fight her. Thing two, I was cool with her. Like we still talk to this day. I was, I'm still cool with her. Um, I was on the phone with somebody and she was like, oh, can I say hi? Da, da, da. So I said, cool. So she grabbed my phone. She said hi. And I, I passed her and I went straight upstairs. And that's when you know, me interacted with um, Kayla and her mother. And then. After that, that's when Uncle came downstairs, big bad wolf, he came, and he just started turning shit up. So her mother went downstairs, and I was like, you know what, I want to see drama too, like, I want to see what's going on, like, all this ruckus. I want to see what's going on. Me and Kayla, like, right by the stairwell, like, trying to look down, and her mother tell her to go back upstairs. So she go back inside, and I come outside, and I'm looking, and I guess the uncle peeped that I was with the mother and the daughter. So he was like, you know, he looked at, he gave me a side arm and continued with what he was doing. But after they pleaded the fifth and they dismissed themselves, I guess mother, mama, she was on the phone with homeboy and he told her like, oh, is that little girl with y'all? He told her how basically I'm a fake friend and I'm a snake because... I was smiling up in their faces downstairs while they were trying to jump her. In all reality, you got it. You got it. I can't complain because I kind of was. I was. I was. Cool. But you're not going to dismiss the fact that I came here to possibly fight for your daughter. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to dismiss the fact that that happened. Whatever. I took all my stuff. Well, I thought I had all my stuff. Grabbed all my things and i head out the door so her mother's like she's like you gotta go that's how that's how exactly she told me i gotta go she was like you gotta go you can't be here you gotta go like you can't be here kayla was like why does she have to go ma like why are you kick her out like why does she have to go and she's like she gotta go like she gotta go she's like later shanian i'm like later kayla like i guess i'll see you around as i'm walking out the door i realized that i left because i used to sleep over this girl's house constantly like that's how close we were for the whole summer it was like every single day we were doing something on the pool party um the beach we was doing amusement parks we was just all over the place and as her mom slams the door it like clicked and i was like shit my airpods my my bag my keys like it's so much things that i still have there and i don't really want to encounter you again i don't want to interact with any of you again so let me get my stuff from now and just go let me dismiss myself let me remove myself from the equation because at this point i'm just a little hurt because i'm just like one you're talking ish about me then you're gonna kick me out your grip like how did i work and like what the hell i came here for you like but i don't know why i was so hurt because she was talking ish about me anyways i'm like before i start banging on her door she's like i told you i've been told you stop hanging out with that little girl anyways and then kayla responds like i know ma i know ma and she's like no you don't no you don't because you keep running around with these little ass girls and they keep they like she was just going off about us and i'm just like i, I thought you liked me like i thought you you felt like even though like the whole kalahari trip happened she still invited me in more than any of her other friends so i thought like you feel me she she didn't feel i didn't i didn't think she was feeling that way about me you feel me like i didn't think it was that deep so, yeah, I'm standing by the door and I'm hearing all this. I'm just hurt. I'm just like, you know, Kayla, you know, like, what? What? What in the fake? So, I'm just sitting there. I'm just, I'm sitting on her staircase. And I'm just like, you know what? I built the courage to just bang on her door and get my stuff. So, I'm banging on her door, banging on her door, and no one's answering. So, I finally bang a few more times. And her mother's like, like who is it? And I was like, it's Shania. Like, I need my stuff. She was like, you can get it tomorrow. And I'm like, no, I'm here right now getting my stuff. Like, I came here. I'm not coming back here getting my stuff. So I'm banging on the door, banging on, on the door. And I'm like, in my head, I'm just like, am I going to have to 
fight an old ass lady today? Am I really gonna have to put my hands on an old ass lady? Win or lose? Am I still gonna have to fight an old ass lady today? Like, just give me my stuff and I'll dismiss myself. You doing too much. So anyways, um, I started texting her. I'm just trying to let me get my stuff. I'm just like confiding in her. I'm just like, bro, can you at least talk to them so I get my stuff and just leave? Like, all I wanna do is just get my stuff and leave. Leave. Like, I don't even wanna talk to you guys. Just hand me my stuff and I'll leave. So I'm sitting on the, on the staircase. I'm texting her, texting her, texting her. And Kayla pops out. And she's like, I care. And she could tell in my face that I'm angry. Like, I was angry crying. Because I'm like, like, what fixates your head to try to keep something for from a child? You're a grown ass lady. Why are you trying to keep her belongings? Like, make that make sense. Talking about coming to get it tomorrow. Like, I'm not your child. I'm not your daughter. You're not about to go send me upstairs. Like, no. Like, no. Anyway, yeah, fast forward, I'm living my life, like, there's subs being posted on Facebook from the best friend, from the friends, like, there's just things being thrown in, and I'm not really interacting with all of them, but there was one that I interacted with, and I forgot the exact status, but she ended up texting my boyfriend at the time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this girl says. I, I give him pointers for this because he's stuck up for me at the end of the day. Like he didn't want to hear nothing that she said, cause he knows she got going on. Like he know that she, she's not it. She's just trying to be it. And yeah, it's just her confidence is up. She's not really it. So for me, he's stuck up for me. And yeah, that's whatever. Um. Yeah, I just found it real weird that, one, you're going to say, yeah, I know, after your mother says, I've been told you stop hanging out with that little girl, and then you're going to go text my man at the time, trying to snitch on me, trying to do business with him, and on top of that, you block me, like, you got to do better. Ever since then, um... I think some some ex we exchanged words on Snapchat, and I was just like, how she texted my man or something like that. I told her how she's weird, like why are you texting him, and she was like, how he needs to know, and I just blocked her after that. Like after that encounter, I never seen her again. Mind you, we live in a we, excuse me, we live in the same neighborhood. I don't see her. Like she just goes. The moral of the story is. Don't, don't trust itch, itch, itches, I'm gonna call them, I'm gonna, don't trust bitches, I'm gonna try to blurp it out, but don't trust bitches that talk shit about their friends to you, when you're their friend too, like, don't trust friends that talk shit about other friends to you, and y'all in the same circle, in the same circle, cause we weren't even in the same circle and it still ran back to me. So don't don't trust females that use people, manipulate people, and yeah, she was just not it. Like her confidence was up. Like, and that's what I loved about her too. Like that's what I really that's why I cling so much to her too. Because she was just always like, Yeah, I am that bitch. And I'm just like, okay, you that bitch and I'm that bitch too. Like, what's up? <laughs> like, what's up? Um, but yeah. After, like, now, looking back at it, like, I would not be her friend. I would not. I don't even like females like that. Like, they just do too much. They try to switch up their whole demeanor for attention. That tries to be the center of attention. Like, be yourself, and the attention will come to you. Be yourself. And don't talk ish about nobody, and no one will try to come jump you. Point blank here, you can't go call your moms and your uncle now because you scared. How you scared? You wasn't scared when you was talking shit. You wasn't scared when you was talking ish, were you? Oh. Oh. Just checking. Just checking. Because. I can talk shit and back it up. Talk shit and back it up. Thank you guys so much today um, for tuning into my story time and thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Um, it's only been a month. Are you serious? Within a month? Are you, you guys love me that much. Okay, goodbye. But um, yeah, thank you.
for that and yeah stay tuned for more and make sure you guys check out my previous videos make sure you guys like comment subscribe and make sure you guys watch my previous videos